Okay, now we have uh, three contactors here, as you see, and then we have the power breaker right here, and then we have the control circuit and the load breaker right here. Now, each contactor you're seeing here, it has a phase, each contactor a phase, each contactor a phase, and that is red, yellow, blue, or oh, one, two, three, okay? And then we have the needle also taking its own uh, path. Now, let us look at the control circuit. So, because we have three contactors, we have three comparators, three timers, and three relays, okay? Our control circuit is AC. The entire system is AC. Now, briefly, let me tell you something. Let me explain something here. Now, the comparator here, uh, if this comparator, uh, because it monitors, constantly monitors voltage at all times, okay? So, if the voltage is okay, then it will, you know, uh, activate uh, this relay, okay? And then the relay will activate the timer. Now, the timer will activate the contactor. And the reason we do that is uh, because we want everything here to happen seemingly and as fast as can, okay? Because power is constantly needed in the supply, okay? So, what you have to put in mind that this circuit is pretty much uh, protected. The contactors have been interlocked electrically. There's no mechanical interlock. That's why we've interlocked twice. So you realize that each contactor goes through the other two contactors. For example, this red contactor, it has passed through yellow and blue. Okay. Equally so, in these timer, in, in these relays here, we've interlocked. Okay. To make sure that there is a protection, there is no time that uh, these phases will meet because you've seen we've you know linked them here. All right. So that's why we interlock. And if one interlock fails, the other interlock can still save uh, the day because we have, uh, like I said, the interlock goes through uh, two contactors and also the uh, two relays. Okay, so that's much pretty 